Hey guys, what's going on? Will here, Flawless is out of Creations, coming to you guys with another video. This week, you know, we're coming back again with this uh, series and different episodes on different genes that we're doing that we've kind of coined it as Gene Chasers. Um, crazy feedback about this series, everyone's loving it. Thankfully, because we're enjoying kind of gaining all the information and knowledge while doing so. Um, please excuse the noise. We have a worker actually cleaning and wiping some things down. We're going to try to talk and elevate over some of the noise if you hear some. It is what it is. But um, what you're looking at here on the Flawless brand uh, under the Flawless umbrella is again <clears throat> a series to hopefully get some new keepers comfortable with identifying some you know simple traits up and into the some uh, into the more complex uh, combos as we continue to evolve with our collection um, and move forward with different combinations we want to continue to evolve this series to uh, hopefully elevate as well and we got a surprise coming in, I guess in a couple weeks or a week or two um, in this series I'm not gonna lay that out yet but uh, hopefully this content is the content for you again it's the bridge between the new breeder and the experienced breeder it's kind of in that intermediate area um, getting more comfortable at IDing uh, different um, combos different snakes I actually go through morph mark on a regular basis Audrey and I are looking at different combos trying to see if we can actually ID single genes in these combos I'm kind of a little obsessed at this point um, because I want to try to you know increase my knowledge in this game so hopefully this is the concept for you if it is comment down below uh, let us know if this is helping you out or not uh, let us know some of the genes you would like us to, to work with or to do the series on or episode on um, the collection is continuing to increase and we don't have too many base genes to show off but we're gonna do our best um, so hopefully if this is the concept for you let's roll okay here we go so this week's episode actually is going to be on leopard um leopard is i know you guys probably get tired of hearing me say it because everything is you know a favorite gene but we really really like leopard um it's a dark gene um leopard is one of them genes where a lot of people have done it already where they kind of add it to everything um <clears throat> it really comes alive actually when you add it to spot nodes um you would think one would wipe out the other, but they really complement each other very well. Leopard, as far as on the belly, you're gonna have bright, bright white belly um, in a single gene form. Chris, very, very clean gene. Um, the pattern itself is really wanky, uh, even down to the alien heads. It's like extremely messy, no rhyme or, 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 or reason to the, to the pattern or the structure. Um, <clears throat> but it has bright yellows as well mixed into that dark pattern but with age unfortunately the yellows tend to fade um, leopard is going to be a color as well as pattern altering gene um, it's one of them genes you're going to want to throw into the mix especially if you're working with the darts but if you're working with the light uh, genes as well uh, leopard works as, works well with that as well you really can't um, <clears throat> discount any of these genes and say it's one thing permanently and don't do this and don't do that because when you're working with these snakes it's like you're an artist you're a painter and you're working with a uh, a tapestry or you're painting this picture and you kind of throw together what you feel looks right in your mind or what you can imagine and that's a lot of the time what you're trying to create that being said um some of the combos that's well known one of the biggest things kind of like the batman combo um it wouldn't be what it was what it, what it is now without leopard um but anyway um it's definitely a dark gene super form of the gene um it's kind of mixed reviews on that uh i personally believe it's the same thing like any other incomplete dominant gene is that it does have a super form but the super form is more of a genetic display than it is a visual display what I'm saying is <clears throat> there's no true as far as in my research uh, separation between looking at a leopard versus looking at a super leopard um, you're not going to be able to tell just from the looks that you have a super leopard versus a regular single gene leopard 
um, you will know once you breed um, those animals and if you bred your super leopard to anything male or female whatever all the babies will carry at least one copy everything will be leopard so you will know at that point that you have um, a super leopard hence why it's, it's kind of out there in the world where people are kind of inconsistent on whether it even exists or not because that means every male every female you're gonna have to you know grow them out um, and breed them and hold on to the babies or at least hatch them out and figure out what every single baby is that means you got to make sure that you have good odds on egg counts because just because you have three eggs and every baby pops out as leopard still doesn't determine that I mean it's, it's not final that that's still a super leopard it could have been just the eyes but if you have 10 eggs and everything comes out leopard you got a super leopard I mean that's just how it works um, but again leopard has extremely messy pattern when it comes to the size and the alien heads and it's very um, uh, it can be ID'd and identified very easily so with that being said let's check some out so we actually hatched this little bugger out here this is a leopard but it's also double head clown pod and check out those alien heads wow this is a female she's already spoken for and get a few more meals in her I believe she's had three meals already but check out that pattern super dark and if you see the the yellow blushing and everything else that yellow tends to fade as it gets older super dark so really quick it's almost like looking at a twin but I'll show you the sibling the reason I want to show you this this is another female check out her dorsal almost like a little stripe down the back she gives a very inchy ish alien head look but I wanted to show this because again when you see her let's see if we can get them to cooperate with us when you see that one you got alien heads definitely down bottom and then you got a super super wonky pattern on the sibling so I kinda wanna show that off because again no rhyme or reason to the pattern um, but you can definitely identify it as leopard okay so with this one we got quite a bit going on with it and I'm gonna tell you the influence that leopard has on this nice girl so she is pastel cinnamon leopard hypo so what you see on her sides that is the leopard interaction with her that is the leopard interaction on her and it also adds some dark pigmentation to her as well So this girl here that I'm about to show you guys is a nice uh, follow up to the last snake that we've seen. Um, crazy color enhancement with the other genes that's at play with this girl. This is actually Cinnamon Banana Leopard Mystic. Now check her out for her coloration. The reason I wanted to show her off is look at that chain linking along the sides. Again, that's that leopard interaction. A lot of other genes that play on this girl, but that's the leopard in her. That's how you would ID it on her. Awesome girl. Beautiful. So I figured that would be a good follow-up. So to see it in clown, check out that. So it almost looks cheater-ish, like a cheetah on the side, but I guess leopard <laughs> on the side this is our leopard clown head pie male who's putting work for us check out the dorsal and the sides but you can see the leopard pattern splotches on the sides 
So that's the influence of simple leopard and clown. Okay, and we have a female now. So I want to show you this girl as a follow-up to the last boy. This is actually a female. This is a leopard blade clown. So it's only one more gene other than the last snake. It just showed you. You still see the leopard all up and down the sides. But if you see the dorsal, it's extremely reduced as far as the pattern, the dripping on the sides, which is the blade interaction. So still, leopards very, very prominent, very strong, very strong. Really. So last but not least, got to show you this incredible animal. A lot of people have said it's one of the best clown pies they've ever seen. It's definitely one of the best we've seen. Um, but again, we haven't seen a ton. But check out this one created here. You've seen it probably on Instagram and Facebook and probably here during the egg cutting what's in the box. This is leopard clown pie. Check out the head. Pattern on the side. It just gives this out of the world, out of this world pattern on this boy. Really cool, phenomenal. So hopefully you can see a few uh, different uh, interactions. We have a couple that I want to show you, probably show you in a different series. We have Mandarin Leopard and uh, stuff like that that's in shed at the moment. I want to show us some stuff that really, really looks good on camera. Um, so we'll probably revisit that in a later series. Hopefully you guys are getting something out of this content. Um, we're really enjoying putting this content out. Um, it's definitely getting us more of a keen eye on what to look for in certain um, clutches that we are uh, having here in-house and uh, doing our thing. Comment down below if this series is you know, helping you or if you just enjoy watching this series. We really appreciate all your feedback. Um, we love positive criticism as well. Anything we could do better, let us know. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Uh, share our content, you know, let's get these subs up. I mean, we're I think over 700 now um, Trying to close in on that thousand sub mark and hopefully get them 4,000 watch hours at some point We're getting kind of close. So um, really really interesting journey that we're on Plenty of clutches still to come plenty of cutting still to come got a few more pickups that we're waiting to come in um, We got a road trip to Raleigh, North Carolina, North Carolina pick up more equipment we're expanding we're doing big things and um, bringing you guys along for the ride with us so check us out on morph market we just put up some incredible animals that I never thought that we were going to release um, spoiler alert we just put up two uh, pie 100% double head hypo DG females um, was really really reluctant to put them up but uh, we have six of them so I said you know what there's no reason to keep six so we'll let two go um, if those fit in your projects hit us up because they're definitely on morph market for you um, and we appreciate you guys again this is another one for gene chaser series this is will flawless design creations we out